Rhythm Gate is an excellent training function to assist you in developing your timekeeping skills as a drummer. You can either do this by playing along to any of the 10 songs found inside of the 402 module, or you can play along to just a click track, and of course, you can set and adjust the BPM to your desire. If you go into the gear icon at the top right hand side of the app screen, you can adjust the difficulty level from easy all the way up to hard. And the harder it is, the more strict the metronome is going to be. And of course, if you're having troubles with say the hi-hat or the snare drum, you can highlight those categories at the bottom of the screen and it's going to ignore the timing of those selected pads, in which case you will not be graded on those at the end of the exercise. Let's check out an example now. Great. Dynamics are an important skill set to continuously develop and dynamic gate assists you in doing just that. Once you're inside of the training function, you'll notice three categories to choose from, weak, normal, and strong. And on the left hand side of those categories, you'll see all the different parts of the 402 electronic drum kit. As an example, say we want to work on our strong dynamic category within the snare drum. I'm going to unhighlight the weak and normal pads. So if I play anything in the weak and normal sections with the snare drum, a sound is not going to be produced. So I have to play in the strong category. And of course, I can combine pads, say in a groove between my hi-hat, snare drum, and kick drum as an example. And I want to work on my strong dynamics with those as well. I'm going to unhighlight the weak and normal categories within the hi-hat and the weak and normal categories within the normal dynamic range for the kick drum. And it's going to grade me on my performance at the end of the exercise. Let's check out an example now. Good. Song Part Gate is an excellent tool to assist you in learning every section of every song found inside of the 402 module. And I can choose which song I'd like to learn. In this case, we'll use Pop 1 as an example, and you'll notice the numbers 1 through 8 underneath that. This indicates all the different sections that make up the entirety of the Pop 1 song. And it's going to give me an audible example of what each section looks like, breaking down the hands and limbs. And on top of that, if I go into the score section on the bottom right hand side of the screen, it's also going to give me a visual representation along with an audible example. So if I'm not very good at reading drum transcripts or I've never read drum transcripts at all before, that audible example is going to show me exactly what that part looks like and it's going to help me develop my ability to read, it's going to sharpen my ears, and ultimately it's going to help me learn all the sections in every song inside of the 402 module. Let's check out an example now of Pop 1. Fantastic. Measure Break is a unique way to sharpen your timekeeping skills with the metronome and without. Once you're inside of the training function, you'll notice that there's six bars of time total. The first four bars are highlighted and the last two bars are unhighlighted. The whole idea is that once I set my BPM, it's going to give me that click for the first four bars, but then it's going to take it away for the last two bars. And the whole idea is to not sway from that original click track setting and then to land back at the beginning of the, fr of the phrase on beat one accurately. And this is going to grade me at the end of my performance. Now, if you look at the top right hand side of the app screen, you go into the settings and you can adjust the amount of measures in total that you wish to have. And then you can adjust the amount of measures that you wish to have with a click track. 
Let's check out a quick example now. Excellent. ChangeUp is an excellent training function to help you develop your understanding of subdivisions and various rhythms. Beginning with half notes, ascending all the way up to 16th note triplets, and then descending back down again to the very beginning. And you can always adjust the BPM to whatever's comfortable for you, and it's always better to start slow when learning a new exercise. If you're having trouble with any one specific subdivision, for example, say quarter note triplets, simply tap on that section and it's going to unhighlight and skip that subdivision. And of course, you can always go into the settings and adjust the difficulty parameters that feel best and comfortable for you. Let's check out a quick example now. Excellent. Part mute is an excellent training function to help you isolate specific parts of the 402 drum kit in relations to how they work and what rhythms are being played on those pads within the song that you're working on. For example, I have pop one selected and I want to hear exactly what the snare drum is doing, but the other parts of the kit are distracting to me. I'm going to unhighlight everything other than the snare drum, so now I'm only going to hear just the snare drum pattern. And if I want to assist myself further in learning that specific pad and pattern, I can decrease the tempo and slow it down even further if that's what I need to do. And of course, I can even take out the backing tracks, such as the bass or other instrumentation a part of that song. Let's check out an example now. Fast Blast is just a fun exercise, well, just really to have fun, but you can actually apply a little bit of technique to this if you want as well. But the whole idea is that you choose a pad or multiple pads and play as many hits possible within the selected time that you give yourself, whether it be a minute, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, or any combination of less or more than that. Let's check out an example now. One hundred twenty seven. Having the ability to record yourself is extremely important in going back and assessing your playing. In recorder mode, you have the option of just recording yourself along to a metronome. And to start, you simply hit either pad to start your recording. Or if you want to play along and record along to any of the songs, simply select the song you wish to play along to and whether or not you want to record along to the pre-recorded drum track. Let's go ahead and check out two examples, one of just playing along to a metronome by yourself and one playing along to one of the songs inside of the 402 module. 